Would you kindly join me for another episode of Bioshock 2? This is Jewel Smith, and I am playing my way through Bioshock the Collection. <laughs> I've already finished the first Bioshock game. And you can see all of the episodes of that on my YouTube channel. Sunday services. Been hearing rumors. Sounds like somebody named a Wales is starting up worship services down in Siren Alley. Believe it or not. All faiths and creeds welcome, they says. They got big promises. Salvation, immortality, a way out of here. I don't care how crazy it sounds. A way out of raptures, music to my ears. Next Sunday morning, I'll be there. Uh, I think by a way out of rapture, they mean via death. <laughs> That's the only way out of rapture. Sophia Lamb controls Rapture now. It used to be controlled by Andrew Ryan. But we killed Andrew Ryan in the first game. Don't want to waste plasmids on those bitches. <laughs> I like using the plasmids, but damn, they use a lot of Eve, and I can only carry up to five Eve hypos at a time. In the first game, you could carry nine. Oh, hello. What's this? Is she gonna jump up? No. Good. You just stay dead. Firestorm. Ryan Industries presents a warm welcome for your enemies with Firestorm. Set your foes on fire when they strike. Huh. Okay. Well, in order to use that, I'd have to trade it out for something else. And I'm not entirely sure I want to trade it out for something else, but that would be handy, wouldn't it? All right, well, we'll have to go buy another gene tonic slot. Oh, look, this lady died with her cat. Oh, well, at least the kitty cat wasn't lonely. We keep finding lone dead kitty cats through all of these games. Oh, there's a big daddy down there. We'll just leave him alone. And he'll leave us alone. <laughs> What's in here? We've been in there already. We'll take that first aid kit. Thank you, buddy. Yeah, we've already been all through all of this. We are in Skid Row right now. Trying to find a brute splicer to research. Hello. What is all this? My home. Popper's oh, drop. Do you Andrew remember Ryan? what you told me, Bill? A marketplace of ideas. That was you. If I submit to the debates with Lamb, we defang her. I've done so. Have you been to Popper's Drop, Bill? Listen. When you're down and out. Between each song, these Zoblomovs hand out her manifesto. Her face adorns every wall. Saint Lamb. You made her, McDonough. And now... McDonough? Convince the council to sponsor her silence. I think we ran into McDonough in the first game. 
maybe not as a face-to-face -face character, but as someone that we listen to on uh, on recordings. All right, so I can't get I can't get that Eve hypo, but it's there if we need it. We know where to get it if we want it. I don't think I need to take a bath right now. Oh, first aid kit. Should we go ahead and use it? Why not? Pull up on health. Oh boy. Is this the way into the limbo club? Is this like a back entrance into the limbo club? those big goons now. Start your camera rolling on him and then let him have it. I don't think I want to do that quite yet, dude. Sinclair is kind of guiding me through this place. I want to come through here first. Oh, dang. Oh. I wish I could publish this stuff. It's newsman pay dirt. Sinclair says Ryan's making a move against Sophia Lamb, and they want to cut me in on the action. They're building a case that Lamb's a closet pinko, sort of an undercover thing. So I cozy up to this guy Wales, who works for Lamb, making like I want to join up. Then I find out whether he grew his beard for Jesus. <laughs> Or Carl Marx. Okay. Okay, so we've been in here. There's the pharmacy. This is where we fought a big sister in the last episode. And also gathered a bunch of Adam. Oh, speaking of which. Alright, where is a gatherer's garden? Way out there. Because we have more Adam now, I think, don't we? Where's our Adam? There we go. Yeah, we have a bunch of Adam. Maybe we should load up on that before we uh, try to take on this brute guy. Take it all. I will, thanks. Alright, I keep finding rivets, so let's switch over to the rivet gun. I'm the genuine article. Oh shit. Oh, that's another brute. Oh dang. Okay. All right, let's do what we got to do in here then. Looks like it's not going to let me. <laughs> oh, dang. Okay. All right, it's not letting me pick up any rivets. Alright, now 
now can I pick up these rivets? Right, I'll just let that big daddy walk on by. Walk on by, big daddy. Keep on walking, brother. Alright. Hang on a second. I'm gonna go grab that Eve hypo. That was in here. There we go. Now we're full up on everything. I'm gonna save right here. <laughs> All right, here we go. Fighting a brute splicer. We had to fight one earlier. But this one we have to record while we're fighting it. And there seems to be a security camera right here. Now if we're lucky we can auto hack the security camera before we have to engage this dude. going to research this dude Hold him down. and <sighs> let's see here does he like the machine gun? does he like the shotgun? gun? Does he like the drill? Oh, Brute Splicer research bonus! Drill Dash! Devastate your foes with this powerful dash attack! Okay... Whoa! Did he Look just help you, me? Sport, a regular junior shoulder He helped me! And it appears you've picked up a new trick from that big galoot. Now get back to the Sinclair Deluxe and... Bust through that mess blocking your way. Press O while holding R2 to, dr to do a drill dash. Oh, button combos. Okay. I gotta try to remember that. Press O plus R2 equals drill dash. Okay. I just want to loot these things here though. That's what I want to do right now. Wow, the big daddy came down here and helped me, I think. Is that what I saw happen? Thanks. Thanks, bro. See? He was cool. Because I was cool to him. He was cool to me. <laughs> no, I don't think that's the way it worked. I don't think he heard me saying, hey, brother. Oh, why am I shooting these things? Oh, because I'm out of regular rivets? Really? Dang, okay. <laughs> drill fuel, okay. All out of drill fuel. Oh, is that a hat? What have we got here? Okay, actually, let's let's hack it first. What did I get? Some goodies? Heavy rivets, thank you. 
And 50 caliber rounds, thank you, vending machine. Welcome to the circus of value. And that's because I stopped the needle on the blue lines. I got free goodies, and now the prices should be better. Uh, buckshot? Okay. I have a plenty of those. Huh. Okay. I'll take some of those, sure. Alright, well, I'm not gonna worry about it then. But I need regular rivets. I think I used up all my rivets. On the brute, dude. Ogle and Sons. Machinery, okay. What is this? Little drawings. Looks like a flower, but it also kind of looks like an arrow, like it's telling me go that way. Are these the stairs? We could have come down this direction. in here. Buckshot? Okay, I'll take. Anything in here for me? Oh, dang. Three children. Yes. Three little angels. It's all gone now. I wonder if they missed their mommy. Johnny! Take care of Okay, this comes back around this way, I see. This is where we fought the big sister. For Grace, the paradise of Andrew Ryan was most unkind. She spoke against him in song, and he had her blacklisted. It left her penniless. But in the family, she has found hope, a reason to draw breath. Ask yourself, Delta, do you deserve to take it from her? Yeah, Sophia Lamb's got some kind of weird ideas about what her daughter is supposed to be doing. Her daughter's gonna save the world, or save mankind, or something. Sophia Lamb's got some kind of weird ideas about stuff in general. Oh, first aid kit? Cool. Ah, is this the limbo room itself? Let's check it out. Yep, let's go down into the limbo room. I don't think that's our objective right now. The little gold arrow is telling me, no, that's not where we need to go. But uh, now that I've learned Drill Dash by researching Brute Splicers, I can bust into the Sinclair Deluxe Hotel. Head back to the hotel, use Drill Dash to destroy the rubble blocking your way. You will need to have some drill fuel to execute the Drill Dash. All right, well, I think I am full up on drill fuel. Yes, I am. But I want to explore in here. Oh, it says to daddy. Limbo room, health station. I will hack it. Why not? It will drop one that I can't pick up because I can only hold five at a time, but it's there if we need it later. Oh, look at her little drawing. I'm hearing a security camera. Here, father. father. It's yours. You are evolving fast, but your Ooh. heart is getting weaker. I can keep you alive, but you must find me. That looks like a power to the people right there. Okay, so what'd you leave me? Hypnotize. You have run out of plasmid slots and will have to store or replace a plasmid. Stored plasmids can be re-equipped at a gene bank. You can buy more plasmid slots with Adam. Yes, I want to do that. Confuse your foes into attacking each other. Ah, okay. 
Yes, this would be like Frenzy or something in Skyrim or I think that in Fallout 4 you can do this with uh, the Syringer rifle. Get people to attack each other. Okay, it's a standard mechanic in a lot of games. It's not one that I usually use. Hypnotize in the first game was Hypnotize Big Daddies, which was used on me, Subject Delta, in uh, the beginning of Bioshock 2. Sophia Lamb hypnotized me into shooting myself. But then I was brought back to life. Not quite sure how or when or why, but I'm thinking by Eleanor here, who was my little sister. Ten years have passed, so she's not little anymore. And I'm trying to find her. That's the story of Bioshock 2 here. Let's see. If I replace... Let's replace Incinerate for now. Hypnotize your foes. Laugh as they fight each other. Okay. But yes, hypnotize was for hypnotizing big daddies in the first game, and that would make them think that you were a little sister and they would protect you and fight for you. Apparently hypnotize in this game... Oh, I can't use that. Oh, well. Is for making people fight each other. Alright, well, they're gonna be fighting each other in a minute. Looking through the trash for scraps to eat. I'll show Time you to who's in charge. Back into the gutter. Go. See how that would be helpful, I guess. But like I said, I tend to not like using present. Oh, hey. I tend to not like using things that make people fight each other. I don't know, it's just me. Oh shit. What's that? moment and I messed it all up God is in the people okay we will be reborn Okay. Oh, there we go. Power to the people. Oh! <laughs> I searched the desk and it raised me up. Alright, here we go. What are we going to upgrade? Now, the last time that I was using a power to the people machine, I don't think that I was paying attention. There's these grayed out upgrades. And what this is, is you have to have both previous upgrades before you can get this one. And these are super upgrades. These were not in the first game. In the first game, Bioshock, you could upgrade your, each weapon could be upgraded twice. And then eventually you kind of, you know, you maxed out all of your weapons. But it looks like they've added 
some like super mega upgrades here. So if I have drill fuel efficiency and the improved drill damage, which I do already have, so it's not on there, you don't see it, uh, then I can get the drill reflector upgrade. Incoming projectiles will be reflected back at attackers while the drill is spinning. That's pretty handy. Rivet gun clip size. Now I think I've already done the rivet gun damage upgrade. But if I get the rivet gun clip size, then I can eventually also get the rivet gun heat upgrade, which will ignite living creatures that I fire at with the rivet gun. That's pretty fucking cool. Uh, I can improve my machine gun damage and recoil and then eventually get this ricochet upgrade. High density electrical field prevents shots from breaking up on first impact, causing them to ricochet. Shotgun clip size. I think I've already got the shotgun damage. That's why it's not on here. But if I got the clip size improvement, then I could also get the Tesla upgrade. Kinetic energy from firing is used to charge several dynamos, randomly generating an electric shock. That's pretty cool. Alright, but what I'm going to do, I do seem to be using the drill quite a bit. Uh, and I use the rivet gun quite a bit. And then it would be nice to get these upgrades for that. So let's go with the rivet gun clip size for now. And then, uh, and then next time, maybe we'll do this super duper upgrade for the rivet gun. Nice club though, really nice. I like it. I like the purple walls. You should not have come. Okay. There's a blue dress. Is that, uh, is that like blue velvet? <laughs> that movie? Do you remember that creepy movie? No. Closing the limbo room. Oh, Grace Holloway. We have to close down the limbo. That's who we're trying Mom to find on this level. Fancy place uptown and everybody panics. Pulls their money out of the banks. A whole city tugging on the same dollar bill. So the banks fold. And maybe one in ten got their savings out. <sighs> Who's gonna come here me nightingaling about how broke they are? How am I gonna provide for little Eleanor? Right. We had listened to some recordings earlier. Now, I, I, I'm going to assume, or I'm going to, uh, yeah, I mean, I, I, I don't know for sure, but it's pretty obvious that the recordings we're listening to, we're listening to them out of order. Because we're listening to some recordings from Andrew Ryan, and he's dead. He's long dead from the first game. But uh, we had heard a recording in another episode where Sophia Lamb had left Eleanor in the care of Grace Holloway while she went off to do something. I don't know what. Okay, but the point of this level is that we can now do Drill Dash. So we can get into the Sinclair Deluxe Hotel, which is where Grace Holloway has holed up. All right, let me take a look at what I've got here. My rivet gun. How many trap rivets do I have? Heavy rivets, okay. Oh, now I can do 18, not 12, I see. Plenty of drill fuel. Yes, shotgun. Not a lot of buckshot, but I don't think I can carry a lot of buckshot, that's fine. I think I'm full up on the machine gun. The camera doesn't actually take film. Let's go to remote hack darts. I could stand to have some more of those. What are the ones on the bottom? I have no idea. I know these are auto hack darts. 
And then remote. I don't know what the one on the bottom is there. I haven't run into those yet. And I'm all full up on health and Eve. So, let's follow the golden arrow. Decisions, decisions. Which weapon should I use? Um, let's go with the machine gun. What the hell? Alright, we've searched this guy. The arrow wants us to go this way. Grab those rivets. Is that too much to ask? Probably should save again. Not so much because I'm worried about dying, but I am worried about the game crashing. It does do that once in a while. But you'll never know because I edit <laughs> I edit the crash out. When it does happen, I edit the videos. I don't usually do much editing to any of these let's play videos, but when there's a crash or some other issue, then I do edit. Is not a man. It is half dog and half devil, made by Andrew Ryan to condemn our children to a walking death. I hear a splicer. Right. Um, should I bother buying buckshot? Probably not. Okay, I'm good. I'm good. Got a scum. Jerk. How do I get up there and loot her? I've already looted this big sister. Alright, I have to there. I want to loot her. I want to see if she has any dollars on her. Jerk. Nope, just coffee. Well, that doesn't help me. Where did we have a health kit that I said, okay, well, it's there if we need it? Remember, I hacked a, uh, a health thing. A healing station. Was it in here? Yes, it was. Okay. Let's use it. Let's pick it up. more. Oh. Let's get the heck out of here. Ha, 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 ha. 
<laughs> Ominous laughing, yes. Thank you. Oh, shoot. Buffoon. Who are you calling a buffoon, buffoon? I'm a king down here! A king! Yeah! I thought we couldn't get through this direction. Oh, now it's opened up to us? I thought we couldn't go through this way before. It was like blocked off. It was totally blocked off before. In another episode, it had like a mattress and some boards over it. Gatherer's Garden? No, I want to go to the Gatherer's Garden and upgrade my uh, my stuff. So you're just going to have to hold on there, Golden Arrow. Oh shit, it's up there. Who's that? Things changed out here. Come on around to this side where I have a hacked turret there. A hacked security camera. Rivets? No, I guess I don't need rivets. There's the gatherer's garden. Okay. Here we go. We can do another plasmid slot. That would be very handy. We can do another gene tonic slot. I think we wanted to do that. Let's look and see what our other options might be. Um, ooh, Drill Lurker. That would be pretty handy. Increases damage from melee attacks on unaware opponents. Ooh, with the Drill Swing. I like that. I didn't really use that much when it was Wrench Lurker, but since I'm using my Drill a lot more in Bioshock 2, might be worth taking. Oh boy. Decisions, decisions. Okay. Gonna go for the extra plasmid slot. And I guess I'll just go for incinerate. Light up enemies to a thousand degrees. Warning, fire spread. Yes. Yes. <laughs> All right, and another gene tonic slot. Ooh, Electra Bolt. I could do even more damage. No, I really want the gene tonic slot. Okay. Uh, let's see here. Firestorm. That's what we found earlier. 
Emit a burst of fire when struck by melee attacks, damaging all around you. Now, that would be a bad thing if there's another big daddy near me and it would aggro because I damaged it. But, what the hell. Decoy. Now this could be useful. Ah, oh, I was saying before that I used this quite a bit in the first game. And Cyclone Trap I did not use quite a bit, but might be worth using here because we have to deal with so many splicers. It might be handy to use. Oh man, what am I going to do? The Hacking Needle moves slightly slower. Oh. Or I can do an Eve upgrade. Alright, let's do this. I want to do that. And I want to do that. We'll do that for now, but I want to get careful hacker. I do want the needle to move slower. And so I want to put that right here. There we go. All right. Use L1 to cycle to your next plasmid. Got it. There's something glowing up there. Okay, now we'll follow the golden arrow. Find what you came for. I'm gonna hope that he's up there and not in here. Is there food we can eat in here to help our health? There we go. Oh. We have lots of drill fuel. Yep, can't pick that up. we go. Now into the Sinclair Deluxe. There's the Vida Chamber. We were here before, but we couldn't get in because there's a big pile of debris here. Just rev up that drill of yours and slam right through that pile of junk blocking your way. Oh, they're making sure you have lots of drill fuel so you can do it. But we are going to do it next time. Because I have been playing for almost 45 minutes and unfortunately I cannot live stream this game. I so wish that I could. I can only upload video clips and the PlayStation 4 will only save video clips of up to an hour at a time. But I don't push it to the edge of the full hour. I like to upload what I have and make sure I don't lose anything at the beginning of the gaming session. I had been in here a few episodes back, looted most of the stuff in here, hacked the safe, did all of that, but couldn't get through that debris. And that's why we had to go to Skid Row. We had to use the research camera on a brute splicer. We had to learn how to be stronger. And now we should be able to plow through that debris, get into the Sinclair Deluxe Hotel, find Grace Holloway. She's gonna do whatever she needs to do. Uh, we gotta get a key from her or something to move on because we are trying to ultimately get to, I think it's Fontaine Futuristics and find Eleanor, but our train is stuck. We are traveling by train through Bioshock 2 instead of Bathosphere as we did in Bioshock 1. Alright, thanks so much for hanging out with me. If you're enjoying this adventure, please like, subscribe, tell all your friends and come along with me in the next exciting episode. I do have episodes of Bioshock 2 every day except for Fallout Fridays when I live stream Fallout and on Tuesdays I do a Try It Tuesday live stream where I try out a new game that I have never played before. Take care of yourselves. Until next time. Bye!